This is King Simon. Remember, make sure you go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com or Linktree at King Simon the Numero Beta. Get all four of my books. And of course, that's the Numero Beta for Mental Stability. Numbers are simple, people are complicated. Numbers are simple, children's health is important. And no promotion is bad promotion. Just spell my name right. Make sure you get them now on all my links. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. Go now. family is King Simon, the founder of Numerovation. Remember, if you want to book a session with me and get a Numerovation consultation, all you have to do is text me your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. And if you want any of my books, go to linktree forward slash King Simon, the Numerovator. That's King Simon, the Numerovator. And your books are available on Amazon. Remember, I'm the El Numero Uno, the Numerovator himself. And if you want to book a session, all you have to do is text me. Make sure you get my books on Amazon. I love you. Peace. Cosmic 1910 Alignment Dinner and Mini Workshop coming to Drop Squad Kitchen in Wilmington, Delaware on June the 19th. Featuring King Simon, the International Numero Veta, alongside Ellison Nedra, the Modern Day Sage, with special guest Lloyd Strayhorn, the world-renowned astro numerologist, all happening in Wilmington, Delaware at the Drop Squad Kitchen on June the 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. Make sure you text 347-496-1022 for details. Be there there in Delaware. It's going to be great. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're going to be in Delaware, people. It's your brother, King Simon. And of course, today, today at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, in the next 12 minutes, we have Grandmaster Chief Professor and Grandmaster Bill McLeod, student of Dr. Moses Power, one of his top-notch students, baby. So we're going to be doing that, and because he's going to be talking about what's coming up. Ooh, Lord, I don't know if y'all ready for the gathering. The gathering of the grandmasters, man, health and wellness. They're going to be talking about it, being about it on May the 28th. That's when 1 to 4 p.m. Because you don't need too much time with these masters. They about to take everything out inside there. I'm saying you're going to have the most dangerous men in one venue at 759 Washington Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. I'm telling you, so make sure you go to the website. Go to the website if you want to get your tickets. If you're in Brooklyn, New York, or you're in the tri-state area, make sure you go to www.studymartialarts.com. That's www.studymartialarts.com. And remember, tell them King Simon sent you, although I might not be there. <laughs> But I will be there in spirit. Believe when I say that. Let me play some of my music before we get it in. All right, God, I got to run down what's coming up also. Also, don't forget on May the 25th, May the 25th, we got live and direct this beautiful sister that's going to be in the building from Egyptian Eye. She's the business owner, intuitive life coach, and crystal advisor. That's happening on Wednesday, May the 25th, right here on King Simon Presents on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to be notified. It's going to start at 7 p.m. Her name is Sister Destiny. Mm, can't wait to have her. We're going to be talking about healing crystals and their intuitive powers. So you don't want to miss that. I'm telling you, family. All right. Mm -hmm. 
And don't forget, coming up on a private link right here on my YouTube channel, we got the one, the only Dr. Phil Valentine returning to King Simon Presents. That's right, King Simon Presents right here on YouTube. We're going to be talking about the big workshop he got coming up, and it's called Anthology and the Metaphysical Awakening of the Melanated Mind. That's right, Dr. Phil Valentine got a big webinar coming up. Got a big webinar coming up, so we're going to support that and show some love to that. Don't forget, I will be speaking at the wonderful Wizard of Raw. That's right. Brought to you by Tassili Raw. And I'm going to be interviewing Tassili, so I got to contact her. But the big, wonderful Wizard of Raw is coming up on June the 3rd, June the 4th, and June the 5th. I will be one of the featured speakers, I believe, either on Friday or Saturday. I like Saturday. That number four is my day. So I got to make sure that's tight. And coming up. One of the young brothers from out of Sanuka's Rue Jiu-Jitsu, this young brother got a big, 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 big thing coming up and be doing big things in Florida and South Florida. His name is Shion Imhotep, the island monk. Make sure you go to his uh, IG at Warrior Temple Island University, so make sure you support that. And don't forget, Juneteenth is coming all over the world, but I will be at Juneteenth with Sarak and Soul Messiah. That's going to be beyond Juneteenth happening in Delaware, Wilmington, Delaware. I will be there on June the 18th. And then myself, Lloyd Strayhorn, and Ellison Nedra got a big thing happening at the Cosmic 1910 Alignment. And if you want to find out more information about that. All you have to do is text me. That's right. All you have to do is text me at 347-496-1022. Let me see if I can find my number. There it is. You can text me at 347-496-1022. I think we're going to be doing a live stream, so you'll be able to pay via WhatsApp or PayPal, but do not uh, text me if you want the details, if you're going to be at the workshop in Delaware. That's right, in Wilmington, Delaware. We will be in there and doing it live. Also, I got to big up the Zen Bar. We did an excellent job over there at the Zen Bar. Over there at uh, 5 Five, three, Joseph E. Lowry Boulevard in the West End. So make sure we support that. All those beautiful sisters are doing massages, facials, reiki, feet oasis. They got yoni therapy. They got vegan food. They got crystal sage and herbs and um, books and candles and all that kind of stuff over there in the West End. So make sure you support our beautiful sister, Coach Helen, a.k.a. Sacred Secret. Also, if you're an author and you need some uh, good editing services, all you have to do is contact this beautiful sister. Her name is Susie Script. That's right, Susie Script. You can call her at 314 3, uh, 914, pardon me, 361 9467. That's 914 361 9467. And tell them King Simon sent you. And don't forget, if you want some great herbs, make sure you go to the Better Health Shop. Check out the Better Health Shop right now. One of my sponsors back on board doing. Doing what they love to do, and that's providing good help for you. Make sure you take the chance out. Go to their website at betterhelpshop.etsy.com. That's betterhelpshop.etsy.com. Get them a call at 1 800 820 7822. That's 1 800 820 7822. They got burdock root, they got sea moss, they got monatomic gold, they got collodial silver. Believe me, I work with the monatomic gold and it's always serving a great purpose for me. So big up to betterhealthshop.etsy.com. Make sure you give them a call at that 1 800 number that you see on the flyer. And don't forget my teacher, one of my teachers, Lloyd Strayhorn. Mm hmm. He is the best in astro numerology. Make sure you check him out. Go to his website at www.lloyd-strayhorn.com. That's www.lloyd-strayhorn.com. Get his book, take his services, and make sure you take his classes online. And big up to Ellison Nedra, my partner in Vise, my business partner and all of that, the modern day sage. She doing her thing. Hit her up at 800-774-4554. That's 774-4554. Or hit her up at www.themoderndaysage.com. That's triple www.themoderndaysage.com and you make sure you tell her that King Simon sent you. This is her IG and this is her website right here. So make sure you tell my Sagittarius friend that you heard it right here on King Simon Presents. And don't forget, I do have a class, an introductory class on Udemy. That's udemy.com forward slash the numerovation. That's right. Uh, go to udemy.com, numerovation, udemy.com, numerovation. Hit me up, hit me up, take that class. Or you can get the full course meal. It's an eight hour raw uncut class. That's PowerPoint, chalkboard. All you have to do is text the word course to 347-496-1022. And guess what? Ha <laughs> ha! 
you will get the course once you pay for it, baby. And you will get to watch it over and over and over and over and learn from it. And don't forget, if you want to take my books and get my books, go to Amazon. Purchase all my books through Amazon or even better yet, go to Linktree forward slash King Simon the Numero Vader. That's Linktree forward slash King Simon the Numero Vader. All you have to do is go to that and we're going to tear it up, baby. I see my professor in the back. We're going to be coming to him momentarily. Don't forget, if you want to do a Numero Vader session with me, all you have to do is text me your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. What I said? 347-496-1022. Remember, I do have a long ass waiting list. I'll tell you the truth. My waiting list is already in July, but if you're patient, you'll get it done. But I do have a special. If you want to do a 10 minutes and 10 second pre-recorded session with numerovation all over it, just ask me three major questions. You got to text me your first name and birthday, and we drop that mathematical knowledge like it's hot. Woo! I'm telling you, family, you better get ready because King Simon ain't no goddamn joke in this building. I'm telling you right now. All right? Now, mm-hmm. Let me do my disclaimer before I bring on my professor, because, you know, we I don't know what me and him might ever say when we come together. <laughs> so I always got a disclaimer on my place. All right. Content disclaimer. The views, comments and opinions expressed by guest speakers or authors on this YouTube channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views, opinions held by this channel's broadcasters and its sponsors. Parental guidance is advised. And do remember. Disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Let's do this and put on this well-deserved round of applause as I put myself in the building. Whoop, whoop. It's the song of the beast. That's the song of the police. Whoop, whoop. That's the song of the beast. Whoop, whoop. That's the song of the police. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. It's your brother, King Simon. In the motherfucker building. <laughs> All right, family. Yeah, I pay, I pay for those applause. I want to let y'all know I pay for these applause. Stop playing. I pay for these applause. Ah, oh, I'm telling you. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, Damien is asking, where at in Delaware? Oh, man, we're going to be in a Drop Squad Kitchen in Delaware, man. That's going to be June 19th at the Drop Squad Kitchen, the best vegan restaurant in the world. I hope y'all doing well this afternoon. I'm shining bright. I'm looking good. I'm chilling. You know, we in the light. We having a good time. And I see my professor in the backstage doing what he do. You know, what's up? Stop lying. We there. We in the building. But um, the, the, this brother, without any further ado, he's coming up in the next three minutes because it's now three minutes before the top. But just want to remind everybody, I'm telling your family, uh, it's very important that you tap into those numbers because numbers is like a GPS. You put in the right address, which could be your name and your birthday. I triangulate what's going on and I'll take you to where you got to go and where you need to leave from. And it could be people in your family. It could be relationships. It could be challenging people that you just have to keep to the side and leave them alone sometimes. Sometimes you got to let them alone. Let them alone. I'm telling your family. But um. I found out, you know, by doing thousands and thousands of sessions with people around the world that numerology is not um, psychic. Numerology is a, a, a science that uses the patterns, cycles, and sequences to reveal your past, presence, and more than likely going into your future, what you need to do with your health, relationship, your spiritual health, your spiritual relationship, all of that. So numbers has been very helpful. And Lloyd Strayhorn is my teacher, one of one of my, one of the best. He's been on Oprah, he's been on all the major radio and television stations all over the world. So I'm honored to be one of his students, but I'm also honored to be one of this man's students that I'm about to bring on him. GM Anthony Soke, Little John, of course, from the, the legacy and lineage of Dr. Moses Powell, and of course, Professor V. Woo! Because get that around the applause for they ancestors now. But this brother man, the way I'm giving it up to y'all about this brother man, he might as well say I, I'm, I'm letting him walk on water like Jesus. Because Jesus did walk on water, but it was the water of the mind. People think he walked literally on water. They don't understand the mentality and the word Jesus only means to save. And every one of us have that Jesus-like energy. We all need to save ourselves because if we didn't make the decision to go and join any religion or spiritual self, you would not do it. So it's all in your mind because the universe is mental. <laughs> Everything is mental. The universe is a mental thing. So once you understand that, but without further ado, 
this brother, his discipline and his teaching from what he has studied over the years under Dr. Moses Powell, Sanukas Root, just through family. And the topic for today, I had to choose this topic because I've seen him do work, bodyguard work, security work, and all that. So the topic for today is taking Sanukas Rude Jiu-Jitsu from the streets to the suites of society and beyond. Let's give that a round of applause. People don't understand. They have bodyguards some of the greatest people. They have trained some of the greatest people. And they were all about the streetology, but they have taken it to the streets. I've seen him bodyguard different people, different entertainers. I've seen Dr. Powell bodyguard different people, different entertainers. I've seen Anthony Muhammad bodyguard different people. And different. I've seen most of the Sanukas family doing what they do. And I want to welcome on stage, who is dubbed one of the chief professors of the system, the one, the only, Professor Bill in the building. I, I don't know how to follow you, Simon. <laughs> Your energy is so high. I should have had what you had for breakfast. <laughs> That's for sure. You got, you got, a, you got a lot of energy. It must be that sun down there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's sir, about, yes, it's time for your return, Sir King. You know, mm. you've been, I'll be you've back. Been, yeah, you've been away for a minute. You'd be like the bird. You'd be like the birds and stuff. You know, <laughs> when you when you hear the hawk that's coming, you 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 start flying south. <laughs> I'm out of here, sir. You be out of, you be out of here. You be, you be out of the apple. <laughs> Yo, the apple is now a big ass rotten apple, so I'm tired of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baba, Professor, how you doing? Oh, sir, how are you? Well, us to you, sir. You know, um, King Man, like, you know, the history of you is so phenomenal as well. You know, I've known you all the way back when you were Simon Temple. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, and you, yes, you had graduated to the king. You know, you grew up now. You know, been the you know, been the prince and, and everything else, and now you're the king. <laughs> Not a king. You know, all, all held the king. All held the king. All held the king. All right. Hey, hey, hey first of all, man, uh, big up to Cheryl Powell, Dr. Moses Powell's daughter. She's on Facebook yes. watching. Big up to Cheryl. What's up, Cheryl? Oh, Sam. I gotta bring on Shell because I seen on Anthony's show, and I want to yeah. bring on the, I want to bring on the spiritual one that does a lot of intuitive work. I need to do that work. Yeah, I need to see because she said something very key. And one of the interviews with um, G GM Anthony, she said that Dr. Powell's spirit has already returned. And yes. I said, woo! Yes. Said, Ooh, she talking my stuff, Jude, GM. She talking my stuff. Talk now, now, before we go there, talk, let's talk about your history, Baba, because you've been doing it for a long time, but you was also, you've been through the in and out of the prison system. You also did boxing. Where did it all start for you to get into the training, the martial arts, the boxing, where, where did it all start for you, Baba? Please. Well, it, it, this, it started, it, it's, it's funny you ask that, it started in um, kind of the uh, the penal institution mm -hmm. because it, it started at a time when uh, it was um, some pretty renowned people that was there along with myself, uh, 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 Professor Carl Rowley, the mm Mumba, -hmm. the Mumba, yes. Uh, um, Felipe Luciano, mm -hmm. and we all kind of seen martial arts at the same time. Mm. And you know, I tell this story because it's a it's a living story that we lived. Yes, the time uh, that we seen this, and we didn't understand what it was at the time. We was there. They had these brothers that came out of. Malcolm's Moss mm. on uh, 116th Street and 7th Avenue. Temple number seven, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Sir. yes sir. And, you know, the the, uh, the newspaper, they was building them as the Harlem Six. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, they was in there because of uh, some, some incident that had happened in Harlem and they was accused of Killing some people that was that was there, and they came in, and there was an incident that had occurred when my brother Malik was in the uh, the day hall, and he was making salat, mm. and 
the officer of the day who was on, CO of the day who was on, was telling them that he had to get up and go lock in. And the brothers who were standing around him while he was making us lock, they were saying, yeah, you know, yeah, he finished making us lock. So, and we, you know, we were all standing there watching this as it occurred, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody had locked in, everybody was standing there watching and everybody was saying, oh my God, what they're gonna do to these brothers, man, because they are violating the rules and the regulation of being inside of this here incarcerated system. And so when the brother said that, you know, when he finished making a lot and the CO commanded again mm -hmm. for him to get up and go lock in. <laughs> he said when he finished making a lot. And so he went and rang the ride bell. He rang the ride squad bell. He rang the, when he rang the scale, we was like, oh my God. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's going to be on. Because they, they, they didn't have. They didn't have sticks. They had like tree trunks and stuff. Yeah. The cable was a big <laughs> tree trunks and stuff, right? So these these big these big white boys came upstairs, man. You know, it was, it was about six or seven of them. Right. They came up as a ride squad. They came upstairs. We was like, oh my god, they're gonna. They went in the day hall, and these brothers started. We didn't know what Kia was at the time. <laughs> We were screaming a lot of lock bar, a lot of lock bar. Right. and Keon, and they started doing kicking and sweeping and punching and all the other stuff that they was doing that we never seen. Wow. We, we was like, what kind of fighting is this? But whatever the fight, whatever it is that you guys are doing, we want to be a part of learning whatever this is you was. So that created the, the type of environment for us to to see and get an understanding of what what martial art was and yes. how it was being disseminated at that time. Yes, sir. Like back in the in the early 60s. Yes, sir. So um, that was kind of it, your the, introduction. Yeah, that was kind of the beginning for, for me seeing what martial art was. So what happened in, inside of that is that one of the things that, that happened is that the brothers started teaching inside of the, the, the prison the institution. Yes, sir. They started yes. teaching martial arts inside of the penal institution. And everybody was, because they had made such a, uh, uh, a great impression. Yes, sir. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> right. So we, they, they had our attention and our, and, you know, and our allegiance and stuff. You know? But, you know, but for, 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 Professor, before you go there, because I know this person that wants to surprise you is on the line. And I, I know he's a busy man. He's driving. But he's a celebrity in his own right. I've known him from back in the day, back in the dojo day and back in the club day. But I, this is my brother and he wanted to come up and surprise you. You go, you go, you go laugh when you see him because he, he, he is a comedian himself. The one, the only Dante Nero in the building. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> hey, What's up, brother? Okay. All right. All right. So you went and got Dante, man. <laughs> What's the way you found Dante at? Yo, he, uh, he online doing his thing. Can I tell you, can I tell you a story yo, about that? Hold on, hold on, Professor. Him and, you and his birthday, both of y'all are Taurus. Happy birthday to both of y'all. His birthday oh, yeah. was the 13th and your birthday was the 8th. Happy birthday yeah, to yeah, both of y'all. <laughs> so, so we was he was in World Collide with us, right? Yep, he was in World Collide with us. So, so he was he was doing uh, this exotic dance and this stuff <laughs> at the time, right? So he says to me, he says, uh, he said, "Listen, I need you, I need you to come and bodyguard me, right?" <laughs> so I said, "Okay, you know, I'm with, I'm with that." You know, he was paying and everything at the time, right? So, so I said, I'm with that, right? So I'm going with him, and I'm I'm, I'm bodyguard. You know, I'm dealing with him. And all this exotic stuff coming around from the exotic dance. And at this time, he was he was Mandingo. He wasn't right. diving. He was Mandingo. He was, right. he was Mandingo. You know? So he dancing. So you know, after the thing, you know, I'm there, and you know, and I'm I'm receiving the benefits of being there, you know, with my brother, and 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 and, and pay as well. So so I had to ask him. I said, I said, Dingo, man, um, you know. Why? Why you need to be? Why you need to be bodyguard? Because <laughs> I didn't understand all of these, all of these women that were women. at the time. I said, "Well, he said, no, 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 my brother. You don't understand. 
it's, it's, it's not it's not the women in here. It's the ones who's waiting for them. You <laughs> might not like the word, this this show that I'm providing for them. I said, oh, okay, that that made a lot of sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, hey, 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 now Dante, now Dante, Dante, brother, how you doing, my brother? Thank you very much for coming on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, thanks, Solomon. I appreciate you. Just that's my you know that's my mentor my dog my you know all of those things good to see you brother good to see you professor i'm uh, i miss you brother i miss yeah, you yeah man I, I i've been watching some of your stuff man that you was doing on the, on there i don't know if you could say some of the stuff that i was watching you say on your your program on king Simon's show because of course he can of course man. I, I'm, I'm cool but you know, tell him about your podcast brother dante because i know you got a big podcast and uh and of course you so do the, com comedy all over the world man so tell him about so, the podcast so the podcast originally i did a radio show in yes. 2006 with patrice o'neill was called the black phillip show late great uh, the black phillip show uh patrice passed in probably 2011 Yes. Um, I used to open for him. One of the, one of the maybe one of the I, in my opinion, maybe probably one of the greatest comedians I've ever seen. Yes, great good. Um, and uh, the the show stopped. We did maybe thirteen episodes. It was all about you know. It's funny because you know, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. But what's funny is Kevin has quoted stuff that we were talking about in 2006. So yes. this is all new to people, but we were talking about that stuff before accountability and, and uh, you know, women being a reflection of their man and, and, and you, know, uh, you know, a woman falling in love with you for everything that you are, spending the rest of the relationship trying to change you into everything that you're not. And if she succeeds, she'll dump you for the guy who is what you were in the first place. So we we would we have been talking about that for years, and then when my boy died, I started doing the podcast. We called it the Beige Phillip Show because he was Black Phillip, and I'm a little light lighter hue. So I called my I called it Beige Phillip Show, and then we changed the brand. We rebranded about three years ago, where we started calling it Man School. And mm -hmm. so I've been doing that steady and doing consultation and teaching dudes how to manage relationships and all kinds of stuff for a long time. I mean, Bill, Bill has been around for this, the evolution of this, because I always had, let's, how, how should we say it, Bill, we always had the gift. <laughs> for sure, for sure. He, he always, he always, yo, he, he, he educated me to some things. I was like, yo, man, would you, you know, he said, no, man, you, 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 you don't have the proper, he he told me you ain't got the proper tools to be able to you know drive this vehicle that I'm I'm talking about. <laughs> and I was like, come on, man! Like, yo, come on, man! You know, you know. He said, no, man. And he had, he had, then he then he he came out with his thing, his uh his uh you know he had he had, he had doctor's credentials. He had a whole bag. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, yes. The doctor. I was like, oh. Yes, he's, he's been he's been my mentor ever since. <laughs> now, hey, look, I booked I booked Dante back in the nineties at the down at the front down at um, Dumbo at that building one front street. I booked him and he tore the place up, man. The, the flying rollouts and all of that. I mean, I knew I said I knew because at that point, who was on my security team at that time? It was your uh, late great Sean Wayne Muhammad. He was one of my security. And also Minister Nelson, another one from Sanukas, all the family. I always gave work to the brothers because I, I was running different nightclubs. But, you know, Dante, tell, tell, just, tell, just mention before we, we let you go and uh, uh, give, uh, give the floor to Professor Bill. Talk about how in those, in those fields where you're at in the stages, how Sanukas has helped you to adapt on training martial arts to help you adapt in these clubs. Because it helped me while I've been in the clubs at SOBs and all these. But how has it helped you also, my brother? Well, we, we, you know, first of all, you said even in the, in my act, I used to do fly yep. rollout, yep. yep, and and and, and free academies and yep. on on concrete and all kinds of stuff. But yep. the other thing was, it this was eighties and nineties, yep, in in, in 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 New York City. I mean, people don't sometimes. I think about like I don't know if you think about this, but I don't even know how I'm still alive. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't even like it was like the, it, it was such a different thing and it was but it was the norm I mean I yes. remember we used to go there was a club called
people love people. Love people, yeah. My man over there owned it, yes. Love people was so wild. Yep. People would come out, shoot, shoot in the club. Yep, yep. And they were so accustomed to shooting in the club that people would hit the deck. Yep. And if nobody had got shot, right? That's right. They would get up and keep dancing. Dancing. They would no. just, just keep it. They would yo, yo, that, dance. Dante, the last shootout at Love People was my cousin-in-law. He shot the place up. He was <laughs> he the one that shot. He came with a machine gun and shot yeah. the place up. He was crazy back in his day, but he he not doing nothing no more. He's I think he's suffering from cancer or something like that. But I, I, he was he was crazy. But tell him about that because we used to have to train and protect ourselves in those. Oh places. yeah, we, we, you, I mean because you were in these clubs. Not only that, but I I worked all through the Bronx, Harlem, Harlem, uh, the the Savoy. Uh, yep. the, the, all the spots in, in Harlem and Staten Island. I was, you know, <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't unlikely for me to go up in some in in uh, in the Vanderfeer yep. or in pink houses or caveman <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning up the pissy elevator, you know, and and do my show, get my paper, and leave out. And if you wasn't if you wasn't ready for that. I mean, you were you were a victim. It's funny because uh, I remember st I had I had um, I also used to produce like I I was producing comedy at World's Collide before yes, yes. before I, before I did comedy right. That's right. Yes, yeah, right. This, this was around the time of, of uh, Def Jam, and I took all the Def Jam comedies and brought them to Brooklyn. I brought brought them to World's Collide. So the funny thing was I was hustling and running around so much. But the word that got out that I was in the street fighting in the streets, right? <laughs> so I'm setting up. I don't know if you remember this, Professor, but I come in because I'm doing. We're doing a comedy night at, at Worlds Collide. Worlds Collide. I hadn't I hadn't been training for about a week and a half because I was running around and doing whatever I was doing. My youthful energy and. Uh, and they and Professor goes, man, we we he goes, hey man, how you doing? He he puts me in a wrist lock, right? <laughs> tells me to tells me to kick off the shoes, kick off my shoes. They were downstairs training. Put me on the mat, and then I ookie for uh, Professor uh, Professor uh, 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 battles uh, battle battles. battle. <laughs> yeah. uh, and 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 um, I'm trying to think of uh, who else it was. And Lutalo. Oh man. Right, Lutalo, and, and they tossed me around for a good 15 minutes, and then got me up us, and they was like, "Now make sure you come." I they go they go. I hear you're you're doing your thing in the street. Make sure you get back here and get on this map. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but Simon, Simon, yes, like yes, it's like he's one of the ones, and I, you know, and I, and you know, I, I, I co-sign the fact that you had a lot of people in terms of you. You was talking about uh, Sanukas and this the street thing. Sanukas is yes. the way of the survivor, the survivor's way, right? Yes. That's a whole philosophical concept unto itself. Yes, right. So you you had those who who were who were uh, um, martial artists when they was in a clinical environment. Yes, mm -hmm. where somebody could say yami and rules and, and thank. No, my brother he he was doing it for real. I remember when he came back and told me, man, you know, I broke this cat femur. No, with a with a knee kick. It, it was we was practice. He broke the guys. You 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 need to understand that. How powerful that is when you knee a guy in his leg and break his feet. Man. Yeah. Right? So that's that's a power. But he was he was one of the dudes who would he was outside of the thing, man. He he'd be in the thing. And this is when you know that you know you, you have those and not take nothing away from those yes, who uh who did their thing under under the lights and certain ways and stuff. But when you was outside, when there was no rules and regulations to govern the outcome of this thing here, yeah. you're breathing in and out. Yeah. That's a different type of. That's a different type of artist and stuff. Different, right? different. You know, different. 
and and and, and it's like you know and, and, and speaking of like Moses Moses gravitated yes to those type of artists yes. because he would he himself was special operation in Delta yes yeah right in terms of who it was he was his philosophy his concepts his principles of survival yeah right it's just like different than somebody have a uh, um, a traditional connection to a tradition that don't reflect who we are as a people and right. where we where we live at. Yes, sir. you know what I'm saying. Yes, so sir. your your art your art is particularly now in this time that we in. Yes, we you, you know you can't use you can't use and I say this regularly you can't mm -hmm. use World War One World War Two. Korean War, mm -hmm. Vietnam, Desert Storm, none of those type of mindset and tactics in 2022. Yes, sir. Because it's a different, it's a different being that you are confronted with. You know, and so, some people tenaciously hold on to the concept of fighting. Yes. Right? I frown on the whole concept of fighting. And the reason being is that when you say fighting, that means that you just gave a person a 50-50 chance of hurting them. Yes. Right. Yes, sir. Because you entered into a contest with this person. That's right. And you can't be you can't be so egotistical about who it is that you think that you, or what it is that you think that you have, that you think that this person at this particular day. You, you maybe maybe the, the numbers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Not lining up. Your numbers ain't your numbers ain't co signing with him. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? He should have con he should have consulted you first. Sir. He should have consulted me on the numerology <laughs> first, sir. That's yeah, he right. You to ask you this is good. Is these numbers good for this? <laughs> yo, I, I, yo, I, the professor, I've done that, and people have uh, uh, actually uh, 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 gotten away from certain issues, man, with the numbers. Because numbers are, like I said, it's mathematics. I don't play yeah, with the numbers. Yeah. I don't do the astrology too much, but the numbers, yeah. oh, I'm good at the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, man. so it's like you know. So your your art has to. I feel like whatever it is, you can still use the mechanics of it. Yeah. But you have to change the mindset and the the uh, the philosophical concept that so it 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 fits into this time that we're in now. Yeah. Right. This is a different time. I've never in all of my years being here, I've never seen no times like this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So your art, your art has to be at at that type of thing. And a lot of people are like, you know, you know, it's 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 cool when you know. When you when you beat your wiki down, right? And he's he's in agreement with you, allowing you to express this this artistry, mm -hmm. right? Right. So it's it's a difference between somebody who knows how to and somebody yeah. who knows when to. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Those are two different animals, <laughs> you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A lot, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't know when to put the when to hit that hit that pedal and put it to the metal, you know. Well, I, I was I remember learning this magic, this yes. this, this sorcery. And I was like, I, I gotta I gotta see if it works. I gotta know if it works. Right? I, I, this is this is this is magical. This is this, yeah. this is like Harry Potter. I yeah. gotta go out and so but I was just in the mindset of it's like, all right, let's 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 see what happens, you know? And it's a it's a funny thing, Professor, because you know I'm I just turned fifty six. Yes. And so there's so many incidents that I have that I think I, I'm trying to be a better person. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, a lot of things I've blacked out, and every time I'm in the comedy club, mm -hmm. I see somebody from the old school. Yo, they always remember when you. I, I don't remember nothing. I don't. I don't remember that. I don't remember recall. I don't. I blocked that FEMA break out of my head. <laughs> that's that. That's that Italian in you, brother. That's that Italian. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. It must have been somebody else. You. You are mistaken. <laughs> That Italian in you, brother. That's what that is. It's like, yo, I ain't, we don't. I don't recall none of that. I don't, stuff. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I, all I remember, I was in school. 
I was in school. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, 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 so yeah, before we before we move on, Dante, I know you got your IG is the Dante Nero, right? The, the, at the, Dante, the Dante Nero, Nero. Yeah. and your yeah, Facebook yeah. your Facebook is Dante Nero also. Dante, yeah, you, and, can, if you, you know, I always say Google me. Google man. me, yeah, exactly. Is it? But <laughs> but I'm, I'm, brother, I am so appreciative for you coming on. We haven't seen each other in a long while. Last time I yeah, seen you, we was, we was in front of um, I was in front of I think um, that Ethiopian yeah, yeah, yeah. spot on Fulton Street. But I want to thank yeah, you, man, for all that you're doing. Thanks for having man. me, bro. I love, man. <laughs> I love you, bro. Where, where you performing next? Where you performing next, brother? You gotta, you gotta come out of the man. Last time you was here, you, you brought the baby and everybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll come driving now. <laughs> He's like three now. You know, it'll be three in August. <laughs> yes. So we'll yes. see what's up. I'll come through, Professor. I'll, I'll come see you. All right. right. All right, Dante. Thank you very much, man. Give him a round of applause, Dante. There in the building. Thank you, sir. Right, <laughs> us, 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 us. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I had to get that surprise for you, brother. I had to get that surprise for you. Because <laughs> we go back. Him and I, he's 56, I'm 55. So we go back from when I used to do parties at the When Worlds Collide, too. <laughs> so the reggae show. <laughs> But you know, so but I know y'all got you got something coming up uh, before we go into that. Uh, you got some. Let me bring up what's coming up because y'all got coming, and I want people to go to the website that study. Matter of fact, hold on one second. I can share that screen because I got the website up here. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm tech savvy now, Professor. I'm tech savvy. <laughs> I'm tech savvy. Man, with me, man. I'm still I'm still doing some Flintstone stuff. <laughs> But this is what you got coming up, the gathering of the Grand Masters. Get that a round of applause. Oh, my goodness. Man, that's going to be powerful, sir. That's going to be powerful. And the great ones that's going to be there, you got Soke Little John, Grandmaster Bill McLeod we're speaking to, our Grandmaster Abdul Aziz Muhammad, also known as, formerly known as Anthony Muhammad, Grandmaster George Logan, Grandmaster David Jane from, of course, VN, VR Nice, of course, Siju, Abdul Mutatakabir, uh, Mutatakabir, uh, uh, Grandmaster Warrantin Hudlin, you know the brother of Reginald Hudlin is going to be there, uh, Grandmaster Tal Curry, I haven't seen him since he had a hair back in the day, uh, some of them, uh, David Herbert, also what is Tayari Cassell, yes, Tayari Cassell, of course, Anthony Aton. Okay, Anton is going to be there. Anton, Anton is going to be there. And of course, C, uh, Sifu Ralph Mitchell is going to be there. Oh, man, tell us about this big event coming up, Professor, please. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a gathering of uh, these, these masters in the art. Yes. For, uh, I had, we had, uh, we did one before. Yes, I remember. And, and this time that we are in with this, this, uh, COVID thing um, that uh, that's been uh, inflicted on us. Uh, we want to gather these masters to talk about what it is that they are doing for their students, for their families, and whoever it is that they affect through what they are doing in the art. And to be able to share it with each other so that we can all, if you're doing something that we can benefit from, we need to talk to each other and share it. Yes. And we are actually all one family. Yes, you are. And the only thing to separate us is names, right? It's like some people says uh, the Mediterranean Sea, the Dead Sea, the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. There's all water, right? Outside the names is still water and it's still salty, mm-hmm. right? So the same thing with what we are doing. And what we do in terms of our art, you know, if, we, if the art should have a foundation of, of uh, character development, integrity development, moral yes. development, so that you can be able to transform people's lives through this instrument, concept, principle, philosophy, and drills. The drills is the end part of the things that we do to develop the individual who yes. comes to our chart. So yes. these masters who have had so many years in teaching and, and demonstrating their art, we yes. want in this time that we are living in, we want to talk to each other to find out how we can assist each other and support each other yes. in, in, uh, in this real crazy time. Yes. I, I, you know, so I think this is a very important uh, gathering uh, of us 
So those who can be here in person and then they can also register online for virtual. Okay, good. Oh, you're doing the live stream? Good, good, good. Let's get that a round of applause. I'm good, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Remember, y'all can go to uh, www.studymartialarts.com. That's www.studymartialarts.com. Remember, it's, it's going to happen on May the 28th from 1 to 4 p.m. That's May the 28th from 1 to 4 p.m. That's 759 Washington Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. Urban Contemporary Jiu-Jitsu, baby. I'm telling you, y'all need to be in the building. Now, let me let me just quote the price. Let me pull this, blow this up a little. Uh, $80 in person and fifty dollars spectators, forty five dollars via Zoom, seventy dollars before April thirtieth. So okay, April third, that's done already. So we ain't doing all of that. Uh, so uh, family, make sure you go to the website. The website is live, and I'm telling you, all you have to do. I, I got the website right here. It's a beautiful website. Let me take that picture down first. Uh, so people can see the website. And if you want to bring your children, if you are in the New York tri-state area, you want to bring yes. your children to train. Oh, he got some great classes, family. I'm telling you. Yes. And um, I, I love what Professor been doing for all these years, man. All these things that they're doing. Look at these great people that's there. These great human beings. Your child will benefit from a unique uh, integration of karate and jujitsu that fosters an important sense of confidence, self-control, discipline, and physical fitness. As I see him in the... Go ahead, brother. Talk about it. Talk about it, please. Yes. So, you know, it, with the children, it's, it's extremely important. We have uh, pillars. We there's a uh, expression that says a man and woman in martial arts yes. is a man and woman, woman who thinks, thinks at all times. Time. Yes, sir. And he or she possesses speed, for power, technique, and graceful and the speed of lightning in the wind. That's yes. that's what is formally said. Yes. So uh, for my children, I have changed it to say that a man and woman in martial arts is a man and woman who thinks at all times. And he or she possesses character, integrity, morality, humility, discipline, respect, and goodness. Yes, right? us. Nice. Particularly now in this time that we're in, in our community, a lot of that is not being taught in the school systems and another, a lot of these other institutions that our children go in and out of. Yes. So we need uh, facilities like what we have here at Massa Health and Fitness to be able to uh, impregnate our children with this type of moral development, yes. cultural development, integrity, character development. Character yes. is extremely important. Yes, it is. Because you only have, you only have a polarity of character. You have a good character or a bad character. So yes. we want to be able to see that and you know transform it. If you see it's going in a certain way, we want to be able to transform it. That's another thing that we are. We are alchemists. Yes. We're transformers of people's lives in, in the sense of taking them from base metal to, to gold so that they can be able to accomplish the things that they need to accomplish in life. Yes. You know, yes. with strength and courage. Yes. I mean, you know, because, you know, what's so funny, you know, Professor, and I, I have to say this because it's it's what we learned from When Worlds Collide to your dojo to... Um, uh, 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 Master Tahir back in the day and all those brothers that we had uh, from your do different dojos uh, that that helped my 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 promotion be better because it helped me to alert on what's going on in my environment. Stay alert. Yes. When From the clubs that I used to work at, from SOBs and Madison Square Garden, all the places that I work, I always, because, you know, being in the nation at that time, also training with Anthony and all of them for, for X-Men security, Back in those days, and y'all come in and filling in sometimes when he couldn't train it. Y'all would train us, and Soke would put us in these horse stands for half an hour to 45 minutes. And if we if we fight it, he gonna whip our ass with that that, that bamboo. Shit, <laughs> shit, not. He gonna whoop our ass with the bamboo. I remember we standing there like this, and we we in the horse. <laughs> we. <laughs> So, but you know, although I never went for the major belts, but that that security training was so intense that it saved my life from a hypodermic needle attack, a uh, few attacks in the security film, especially in the in the film world with Spike and and just doing buildings and all that from you know from drug addicts and drug dealers and all that stuff. So, I could I, I tell people things like this helps whatever you once you know the basics like Dr. Powell and you and all of them used to say one master the basics you know and those basics are very important and uh, I, I I employ anybody if you're not going to be a black belt or whatever you want to go for go at least get the basics from these people man 
get the one, one of the things that I also like this time here, I, I feel that yes, um, it, it depends on the psychological foundation that your art is built on, right? It's, it's the psychological foundation of the person who's, who's reflecting the art. Particularly, I feel for this time that we have, you know, it's, it's the old expressions that says sometimes, "Free your mind, build your mind, your ass will follow." That's right. Right. <laughs> or either you stay behind your tradition that may not be applicable in the right now. Yes, sir. Right. So I, I have worked at Rockets Records, yeah. bunch bunch of years, mm -hmm. uh, Mecca. Yeah. For a bunch of years with, with Gene and Forever and yeah, for Steve. And you know, and you, you got plenty field activity. Yes, sir. Where's this here? A lot of things that you that you do inside of a clinical environment you find out that didn't work in the field. Yes, sir. Unless you actually did it's hard to teach somebody to do something that they never did. Mm. Sometimes people have a moral disposition about the execution of what they do in, inside of a clinical environment. If you follow mm. what I'm saying, yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So you know, and and it's it's like the training those who are qualified to receive this information is extremely important. It is mm. it's rare sometimes that you get a lot of Dantes and 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 Gene Montagues and people like that yeah, yeah. Who, who come through. Chad was another one. Chad was another one. I will not want to talk about that. I want to talk about it before you go there, because yeah. um, you had you gave me the privilege uh, back in the day to meet this brother here who we call yes. Chadwick Bosman, man. We, and we had a laughing time all together. Yeah. We were laughing our ass off over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's you and him. Tell us about that, that encounter for the, the amount of time that it lasts and you remember, you know, you told me to give him a quick reading and we talked about that lower extremity of his stomach and all that. And then all of a sudden he, he got he got colon cancer. I'm like, what? Yeah. And I told him, I said, and he, and he said I wasn't lying. I said, oh, man. Yeah, I remember that. And I said, was standing right here in the door. I remember that. In the dojo. That's, you told that's me. When you, that's when you gave him that book. You remember that? Yeah, I gave him the number of, uh, numbers of simple. My first book when it was uh, when I printed it myself. So, yeah, and he was holding it up and and and, and really loving it, man. So tell us about that encounter with a, a such a deeply spiritual, and he respects you so immensely, uh, Baba. Tell, yeah. him, tell him about that, man. Tell him about that encounter. Like, you know, it's not, it's not a lot of, you know, a lot of people come yeah. uh, to you, past you, with you, start with you. Some people you, you have a different type of bonding and relationship with, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he, he was one of those yeah. who, and sometimes when I start talking about it, get emotional. Me too. Because we, we bonded at a deep, deep, deep level. Yes. Because like we would sit around for hours after we finished working out, talking about everything. Yes. He was he was he was he was extremely culturally conscious. Yes. Yes. You know? And uh we did a, a, a program with the Grandmaster Anthony where we had some of the people who went to school with him and Howard on. Yes, I've seen that. It was very good. Yes, with yes. Um, Glenn was, and um, the other one. Yes. yes. We, we was talking about how, and, and this, this is important for us to, to understand at this time that we're in how different media forms shapes our opinion about yes. what it is that we see and who it is that we see. Yes. So one of the things that they couldn't have any type of narrative over is his 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 journey through martial arts. Right. He right. came in as a white belt, right? At the beginning, he 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 came up to all of the stations. You know, he wasn't given nothing, right? So right. one of the stories I told when we, we opened this school here quite some time back, and him and Jason. Mm -hmm. Right, one of the, one of the brothers who, who who came with them, they came. Man, they they you, they were they you talking about humility. They cleaned the school 
the basement. No, they clean the basement, not the school. They clean the basement mm. where you could go down and have your lunch off the floor. It was, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> so he did all of the the regular things that students do inside of the, the dojo. Yes. You right. know? So um, he, he was doing a lot of traveling and, uh, you know, and, and developing his craft as the thing that he did professionally and stuff. And I introduced him to Maurice Crump. Yes, yes, the great uh, ninjas, right. Yes, yes. and, and um, which was, which was I, I thought was a good look for him because he, he was in, Maurice is into the theatrical part of, of martial arts. He did, did a couple of, of uh, movies with Tony Ja. Yes, he did. Right, so, right. So, uh, so I thought that that would be good for him and he could introduce him to the flavor of what happens inside of that arena and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it worked, out, it worked out pretty good. Very, very good. Yes. yes. Right. So, so, um, he, when he was here, um, he would, he would sit, sometimes he would sit and he would be in such a pensive mood and I would ask him, mm -hmm. say, um, you know, everything all right? Mm. No, no, I'm, 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 you know, just, I'm, good. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, which one of these mothers is lying to me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that's, that was the arena that he yeah. went into as a warrior. Exactly. That's right. That's right. And and if, if we talked about gatekeepers. Yep. We we talked about at every level that there was these different devils that was there yes. to examine who it is that you are, who it is that you trying to be inside of that particular narrative that they control. Yes, sir. And he, he and he was he was he was powerful at, at doing it. Yes, he was. You no, know, he was extremely powerful at doing it. So he, he's somebody, man, that he's an ancestor now. Yes, he is. And every there's not a day that goes by that I don't call his name. That's right. You know, in my ancestor worship and stuff. You know, that's right. He's yes, one of the ancestors. He's powerful. Yes. And, and, you know, and his the other thing that I, that I have to mention about this, his generosity was. Yes. Oh my God. His generosity. He did so much for this school. Yes. You know, yes. not just by him being, I mean, unselfishly. Yes, he was. You right. know, and it, it was it was it was quite a while before you know I, I I seen him as being the type of artist that he was. I had heard about him. People tell, Oh, did you see Chad? He was on uh soap opera and so yeah. I I didn't see that stuff, right? <laughs> and oh, Chad, oh, he was on the soap opera. And one of the things he, he he got out of that because they was trying to get him to play a, a character that that uh, didn't reflect his his cultural background and stuff. And he 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 rounded up. So they they were saying, "Oh, you're not going to be a, a good fit for us." And they let him go. But he he. He continued in his craft, and he was, he was such a perfectionist. Yes, at yes. all the things that he did. Yes, he was. You know, perfectionist. So it, it, I never said this before, but we have footage here. We did. Um, we were shooting some. Um, uh, we was going to put together a, a DVD for techniques and, and things, right? And I, I still have it. I never pushed that. Never, uh, uh, of course. Of course. He, he directed it and, and the whole thing. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Right, right. right. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Get that a round of applause. <laughs> Brother Chad. Brother Chad. Brother Chad. That's right. That's right. Yeah, That's right. He, he, he filmed and directed the whole thing, man. Wow. You know? Wow. So, so uh, when, when um, I. Uh, First, started to realize, you know, because they used to invite me to come to different plays. Yes, and stuff. And, 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 uh, yes. Wait, but I, I was jealous when you was with Jill Scott Heron. So, I mean, Jill Scott. That was that was that uh, uh, She was looking good, sir. She was looking good. Yeah, that, that was that was what he did. Uh, get on up. Get, get on up. Yeah. So that's the that's the other thing, man. When he he told me, he said he said 
He said, yo, yo, Jim, listen, I'm, I'm getting ready. Guess who I'm going to play? He said, I'm getting ready to play James Brown. I said, nigga, I said, get out of here. <laughs> James Brown, man. This is my player. I said, listen, have you ever seen the James Brown show? I said, I said, man, you can't even dance like James Brown. What? Did he throw it? Kill it? He, yeah, really he tore killed it. it. He tore it up. He tore it up. So. Well, they killed it. Yeah, he tore uh, it up. Then he did all of the background and research yep. into James Brown, and he was he was telling me some really historical stuff about his findings and stuff that for another time and stuff. And I see you, we talk about right, right. You know, in terms of who who James Brown was, who's a very powerful guy, man. Yep, that's right. That's right. Now, 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 in these in these last few minutes, Baba, before we go. Uh, I just want to shine some pictures on you, and then you tell tell us about the the meeting and growing with them. This person here, what was it like uh, oh. be, being touched by this person right oh. here, Professor B, Grand Professor, Grandmaster, Grand <laughs> Grandmaster Grand Professor B. What was it like being touched by him, brother? He was a phenomenal. So this, <laughs> you know, he used to come down to World Collides every Saturday. Every Saturday, he was there, right? So listen, I'm glad you asked that, right? I have to ask that. I, 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 you know, you know, you know, Grandmaster Anthony, that's my brother, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so two things happened, right? So, <laughs> Professor V would teach a class for two hours. He he, he taught on a collegiate level, right, right? He came in. He had books of everything and notes of everything that he was going to teach in the two hours. He was in. He was he afflicted pain at a level that there's no adjective to describe. Right? Sometimes you had to look up to see was this look did this little guy have help? You know? So so this is what happened, right? Uh -huh. I said go upstairs and tell Anthony, yo, listen, professor's downstairs. And you coming down, he said, yo, yo, give me a minute, I'll be right down. Right. He came downstairs, yeah. <laughs> Because one time, Professor had his finger, and, and, and he, had his, he had a finger like on Anthony so strong that it brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Right? Crazy. <laughs> this is real stuff, right? So, so, yeah, uh, so another time, Moses was upstairs. He was sitting upstairs, right? And I'm downstairs. <laughs> You know, and I needed some, you know, I needed some some help to come down to take some of this pressure off of me. <laughs> the professor by myself, right? So I go upstairs and I said, I said to Doc, the doc, I said, listen, Professor is downstairs. <laughs> professor V is downstairs. He said, he said, the hell are you telling me for? I ain't going down there. <laughs> he was smart. <laughs> No, 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 no. Since, since, you, since you're right there, Baba, since you're right there, t t let's go right into that, brother. What would you say about our, our dear, the late, great Dr. Moses Powell, brother? Come on now. Well, um, this is, you know, like, let me tell you the story about the blind man and the elephant. Okay. So you understand where I'm at. Where yes, sir. The blind man and the elephant, you had this, um, the blind man, and the elephant, and then it's asking the blind man about different, the blind man couldn't see the totality of the elephant. Mm -hmm. So he said the elephant must be like a tree when he felt his legs. Right, 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 right. Right? And then he, he went in the back, he felt, he said, the elephant must be like a snake because he felt his tail. Right, right. Right? And he felt his ears, and he said, the elephant must be like a bird that can fly because he felt his wings, right? Yes, so right. everybody who who see has a different part of the whole. Right? Yes, yes. My perception is that he was a, a, a general at a level equivalent to Delta and Special Operations, mm, yes. right? Yes. He he wasn't contestable in the sense that his art was an art of survival. Yes. yes. Right? What he did, uh, you see him demonstrate, usually when you would see Moses demonstrate, he would do three to five techniques. If he did more than five techniques, you would bless for the day. 
<laughs> right, right. right. So, so, but who his mindset was, so there's, 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 there's the physical application of what people look at and consider to be Sanukas. Yes. And then there's the mental Sanukas of the, where your mind has to be in terms of operating it for survival. Yes. yes right? Yes, so yes. there's a few who comes along who that mind went right into them and they operated that frequency. Yeah, there was those that he produced back in the beginning, like Hudson, yes, you no know, Lefty, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Rick, uh, yeah. um, the Mumba, yes, uh, John. These, these, these were these were soldiers that he he he, he created at the time that he was at the apex of who he was. Yeah, so he created a phenomenal product at that time. That reflected the psychology of St. Lucas for that time. So the the, the concept of St. Lucas has evolved to the point, in my es estimation, yes. that this particular time that it is, it's not a thing Yes. It's not an Epon Sianagi. It's the psychology of who it is that you are in using this vehicle for this time that we are in. Yes. He's, yes. he's the, he's the uh, I can't. I can't even say he's. He. If I can promote him higher than Doc, I promote him higher than Doc. I. Mm. This is my friend. This is my brother. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, I. 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 I lived with him. Yes. Oh, you know, I. Sh I shared every day. You. You know, son. You, yes. You, sir. Yeah. I know. I know. Every, yes. every day that you. Every day that you came in there, he was yeah, there. He was there at the. At the barber shop. He was either getting his hair cut. We was talking at one time. Doc told me, I said, I kept on saying, Doc, you need to write your book, Doc. You need to write. And so I wrote an article for him in a news clip, newspaper, just to stimulate, you know, yo, you need to write this book, man, because you got a lot. And he, he said to me, there's certain things I can't tell. I said, That's right. I, said I started laughing. I said, I know. Oh, you got to. That's exactly right. I know. No, I'm your witness. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a, you know, so, so this is me, me saying this here. This is only my opinion, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Lucas, it's the way of the, it's the, it's the way of the survivor. Some people say simplicity. Yes. No, listen to what I'm saying. It's the way of the survivor. Yes. It's the mindset that you go to, to live. Yes. When the, you know all things you know, if you go into, if you going in there and you gonna like, you know, we gonna we gonna commit day and we gonna do yeah. that's that that ain't really San Lucas, right? To me, right, right, right. That's a that's a that's an artistic expression, and the art is a art is an outward expression of inner cultivation, right? right? So, but San Lucas is this this particular place that you don't even want to open up that door. Yes, yes. Right. You don't want to open up the door because it's real dark in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's extremely dark in there. Yes, sir. The room that you don't want to go into because there ain't no ain't no light in there when you go in there. Yes, sir. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. So that's that's my brother. That's, I, I have, yes, I, great. He's another one. Every yes. day, every right. day. Show him that love. That's he, right. I'll let him. Now, now, now. Uh, before we finish, tell us about these two brothers who you kind of grew up with in this whole thing. Uh, Soke Little John first, and then, of course, uh, Abdul Aziz, well, a.k.a. Anthony G.M. Anthony and Soke Little John. Please family. talk about these brothers. Family, family. So, yes. so one, one of the things is like uh, Soke, right? Yes. You you would have had to have back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people was afraid of Soke. Every time I mentioned his name to a certain martial artist, they'll say, oh, damn, not Soke <laughs> Little John. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me tell you, so, so uh, you know, he, he had to school uptown on 123rd Street, right? Yes. yes school there, right? His class, he, John, John taught, he taught, uh, uh, from, his classes was uh, from 6.30 to 8.30. Season Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday, six thirty, eight thirty, right? When you got there at six thirty, from 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 six thirty to about quarter after seven, that was Hell's Dojo. <laughs> so I mean, the, the the thing was so rough. You can't listen. You can't even do at this time what he was doing then because. 
You first of all, you have no students. It'd be abuse. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be abuse. They want to lock you up. Yep. <laughs> there was no such a thing as insurance. Somebody had no, no insurance. Somebody had no insurance. You went in there. You put there on your own. Your own peril. So, so listen. Me and my mama, we would go up there. We were going up there. We going up to Sophie's, right? We would stand outside and watch the thing. We timing him because we know from six from six thirty to about quarter after seven, everybody's dying. They got to ring their gear out after <laughs> after after that. So we would run downstairs about seven fifteen. We would run downstairs, us, us, us. <laughs> And then get on before the floor. we we came for the cake. We didn't want none of the so we came for the dessert. So we, we was there for the dessert and stuff. We was trying to avoid that. And then Soaking Soaking got slick. So what he did, he started like, okay, you got all of the dessert in the beginning, and then you got the closing thing with the with the party. He he caught us out there. Uh huh. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> you know, Red Lester Anthony. Yes. Oh my goodness, man! Our brother, that's 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 my brother. Yeah, his family, you know, his family and stuff. He he, he uh, I, I was I was um, I was training at uh, um, at Brooklyn Aikido with under yeah. with Nicholas at the time. The doc hadn't came back yet, and and Anthony came in. It's a long story with, with Anthony. Anthony lived in my bed. He lived oh wow! With his mother and stuff. So nice to see him every day. You know, going and what he's doing. And, you know, him and John used to be trying to pull me from darkness. You know, <laughs> it was like, "Yo, come, come on back to the light." <laughs> You're going too far into the dark. Come on back to the light, right? And so it, it was him that he was at at Paul Robinson. Yeah, and. and he was like, you know, come on, before the world class, this is way before the world. Before world class, yes, 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 you yes. Know? And I said, all right, I'm following him over there, man. We've been together ever since. Man, y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all have been, y'all been, y'all been like, you know, brothers forever. I mean, if it wasn't, if I didn't see Anthony, I seen you definitely, or I seen Soke, and then battles will come in, and different people will come in. Tahir, we'll go over to Tahir's dojo, and you know, it was, it was, it was a, it was a great time back in the nineties, going into the two thousand, man. I, yes. I mean, I really miss those days, and uh, you know, and all these grandmasters y'all all gathered with back in the day. Look at all these good people, man. I can't even. I see Rico Guy up in there. I mean, great. I, I, I do Hafiz. He passed on. I mean, a lot of people's gone in here, man. A lot of people. Wow. Look at that. You found that there, Simon. Online. I just Googled and I seen you in there. I said, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I said, look at all these great wow. and a lot of people are gone, man. Oh, man. Look at all of them. Yeah. But, man. Uh, but, uh, but Professor, I, and I want to commend you and thank you very much for all the inspiration you've given me over the years and all the great things that you've been doing, man. And a happy belated Earth Day, of course. You just celebrated. How old are you now, sir? How young are you, sir? How young are you? Seven, just turned 78. 78, wow, man. We all wishing to get up there because you still look young. You're still training every day, though. You train every day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I used to be able to do all day, now take me all day to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I still do it. I'm just stubborn. You know, Taurus is stubborn. They got a stubborn spirit. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. My mother's a Taurus, so yes, I know. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know but um, this is the big event that y'all coming up on May. I just want to remind everybody May about 28th. this. May 28th. Let me put that flyer up in front real quick. So, oh, oh, you know, I forgot to mention this brother here. You had this brother. You had me meet this brother a few years ago. Mark Brillin. Give Mark Brillin a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> That's, my brother too. That's my brother, man. Yeah, man. I used to train, him. I used to train his son. Yes, yes. You did. Yeah, yes. you. Yes. You, were, you were, yeah. Mark Brillian was a good guy. I know he was training Dante, right? Dante Wilder one time, yeah. He was, right, right, yeah, right. man. But uh, Mark was a good man. I'm glad we I got to meet. Beautiful brother, beautiful person, man. But I, I want, like I said, I want to thank you. You, you helped me to meet up a lot of people. You and uh, GM Anthony always helped me to meet a lot of celebrities, a lot of people back in the day, especially uh, from when I used to do security with GM Anthony at X Men. And uh, but you know, I'm honored to at least be able to honor you and what you're doing at, and. Uh, as soon as you sent me the fly, I've been promoting it probably for a whole month already. So yeah. it's easy wow. for me. 
I, I want to honor it. Is, I want to honor what it is that you do, Simon, because you do in terms of keeping the culture yes, active and alive and yes. conscious amongst you know the people and stuff. You do a phenomenal job. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Phenomenal job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey, it wasn't because of you, man. You people. That's why when I'm riding my bike, I come to yo. You, those think those little balls of energy, man, that you give me while I'm on the street dealing with these people, man. Especially when I used to give out a lot of flyers. I mean, I've had to defend myself from attacks from flyers, giving my out flyers, and you know, in the clubs, you know. Uh, so it's just uh, thank you very much, and thank you all you've done for my children that have that worked out. Even Jordan is. I told him he has to get back on there, but you know, he's a little stubborn. You know, they're getting through their age, and I said, I said, all right, I'm not gonna force nothing on you. When it's time, you know what it is. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? you know, but. Uh, Baba, I want to thank you very much. Uh, again, people, don't forget this May 28th coming up in a few days. Make sure y'all go to studymartialarts.com. That's the website I got going on in the background, but I'm going to take that off and just pick up the flyer. Um, please go to his website. Y'all want to find out more about this big gathering of the Grand Masters. Oh, my goodness. Believe me, you want to be there because... It's going to be a throw fest, but it's going to be a knowledge fest because they yes. drop the knowledge with the throwing. It's a touch and go fest. They touch and go. Touch and go. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I want to so much. Thank you, man. And I'll tell everybody at the dojo I send my green. When I come, I should be coming to town um, in July or August. I'll let you know. As soon as I come in, I'll come down. You know, and I, I love you much, man, Professor. Love you much, man. All right? All right. Us, us in love. Us, us, us. That's right. That's the great Professor Bill McLeod. Chief Professor. That's what we call you, baby. That's the Chief Professor. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Thanks to Cheryl. Thanks to Taki. Abundance child. Big up to all of y'all. Cheryl Powell, of course, Dr. Powell's daughter. I got to get on his other daughter. Uh, I, I, I got to get on um, Anthenia. I got to get her on, man, because I know she, is, she deals with a lot of spiritual stuff. But yeah, we ran down some pictures up in here, man. We had some pictures up in here. Uh, again, want to thank each and every one. Make sure you go to this website. Make sure you go to the website, support Professor Bill. This is the martial arts school they have. They got a big thing, uh, May 28th, Soaking Little John, Grandmaster Bill McLeod, Grandmaster Abdul Aziz, Muhammad, Grandmaster George Logan, Grandmaster David James, Grandmaster Siju, Abdul Mutakabir, Grandmaster Warrington Hudlin, Grandmaster Tom Curry, Subonim, uh David Herbert, uh, of course, Tayari Cassell, Osok Tayari Cassell, Grandmaster uh, Anaton Muhammad, and Sifu Ralph Mitchell. They're all going to be in the building. $70 registration before uh, April 30th, $80 after, $45 for online participation, and $50 for spectators at the MAUSA Health and Fitness Center at 759 Washington Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. If you could be in Brooklyn on May the 28th, make sure y'all go out to May the 28th. Go out there May the 28th and enjoy the family, man, because they 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 they're, they're very accommodating. They're very loving. Uh, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna give you some tough love on that mat. I'll let you know that right now. I I my wrists, my all of this has been bent up and fingers has been thrown and all. I, one time I got thrown and my I thought my fingers were still in the guy's hand. I, was, I think it was Sean Wayne back in the day. <laughs> my fingers were still in Little Wayne's hand. May he rest in peace. Oh man, uh, yeah man. So I uh, want to thank each and every one of y'all. Let me get ready to throw on some of my music so I can close out. Okay. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in on this special broadcast at one, from 1 to 2 p.m. on this particular day. Uh, once again, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to the uh, to Professor Bill, whose birthday he celebrated on May the 8th. Happy birthday to Dante Nero, Dante Nero, comedian, former exotic dancer called Mandingo, podcaster was on. He came on earlier, so make sure y'all rewind that and watch. He used to train martial arts at When Worlds Collide with us, too, back in the day. So big up to Dante Nero. Great comedian, man. He's funny as hell, man. But again, he also, uh, Professor, spoke about Chadwick Bosman and all of our great meetings and all that stuff with Chad. We were, always had a laughing time with Chadwick Bosman, the late, great Chadwick Bosman, the actor, martial arts extraordinaire. Of course, that's him and Professor Bill doing his thing. So 
Again, of course, Mark Breland. Big up to Mark Breland. I always had a good time with Mark Breland. Big up to one of my professors also, Soke Little John. Every time Anthony wasn't there or Professor Bill wasn't there, Soke would take over and beat us up also. <laughs> Big up to Anthony Muhammad right there at the end, the shortest one of most of them. That, that's uh, Abdul Aziz. He changed his name. Uh, the minister gave him a, a, relig- a holy name, so big up to them. Of course, we all saluted Professor, uh, the Grand Master, the Grand, Grand, Grand Master, G, uh, the one, the only Dr. Moses Powell, of course. Yes, these are some of the pictures. This is back in his prime when he was doing his thing. And of course, his teacher was Professor V. Professor V, the great, the late great Professor V, who I had the privilege never to get touched by him like that, but definitely to shake his hand, talk to him. Uh, Ferendo M. Visitation, uh, Professor V himself, V. Jiu Jitsu Ru. Big up to him and all the great ones that's a part of the system that's still keeping true to that system. Big up to, of course, David James will be there. Big up to, big up to uh, Professor James, David James, who's also a holder of some of the great legacy of not all of the, if not all, he holds the great legacy of Professor V. And they're going to be at the gathering of Grand Masters on May the 28th, May the 28th. That's going to be off the hook. Man. Oh, man. So. We get on out of here. Just want to remind people, of course, coming up next on May the 25th, we have this beautiful business owner, intuitive life coach, and crystal advisor, Destiny Pendarvis. Uh, Pendarvis, that's right. That's uh, Destiny Pendarvis. Okay, so big up to her. She'll be on with me on May the 25th. And then we got Phil Valentine coming through a private link on May 28th. Sunday, May 28th, we got my brother Phil, Dr. Phil Valentine coming in, bigging up and talking about this webinar that he got coming up, the uh, anthology and the metaphysical awakening of the melanated mind. And then uh, don't forget, if you're going to be in Georgia for these next days in June 3rd, 4th and 5th, we're going to be Tassili Rawls, Reality. Uh, presents the ninth annual Wonderful Wizards of Raw. That's the Wonderful Wizards of Raw. Big up to her all the time. I'll be one of the guest speakers there. Also, big up to this young man who's also grew up under the Sanukas family. His father was is, is Professor Abdul Hakim, and his brother is Shion Imhotep. He's down in Florida now called the Island Monk. Go to his IG at Warrior Temple Island University, June 5th. June 5th, we'll have him on at 6 p.m. That's June 5th. We'll have him on at 6 p.m. This young, the young warriors are coming up doing their job. He do a lot of healing work, him and his wife. So big up to them. And don't forget Juneteenth. Don't forget Juneteenth in Delaware. I will be in Delaware that weekend, June the 18th. We'll be at the Delaware Museum. I think it's called, yes, we're going to be at that museum. It's going to be big, 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 hosted by L'Oreal Mustafa. But Sarak is going to be there. Soul Messiah is going to be there. Ghetto Songbird is going to be there. Hezekiah Nitro, uh, uh, Nitro Nitra is going to be there. Richard Raw is going to be there. Ebony Zudia. It's going to be there and so much more. And then myself, Lloyd Strayhorn, and Ellison Nedra is going to be doing a Cosmic 1910 alignment workshop. It's a dinner and mini shop at the Drop Squad Kitchen in Wilmington, Delaware, right over there in the Wilmington, Delaware area. That's right. I believe it's going to be at Just Justice on, uh, I think it's Justice on Street. In uh, Justison Street on uh, in Wilmington, Delaware, not too far from that lake at the Drop Squad Kitchen, June 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. So look out for that. We'll be there. And I'll say one more time, big up to the Zen Bar for accommodating us this uh, Sunday. We did a great job. Make sure you support them. Go to zenbar.org, the Zen Bar, the Zen, zenbar.org, zenbar.org. They do massages, facials. They also do um, Reiki. They do uh, Yoni therapy. They do vegan food. All of that is over there at the Zen Bar. Enough respect to her. And Susie Script, if you are an author, you are in a journalist, a blogger, or much more, make sure you hit up Susie Script at uh, susies.script11 at gmail.com. Or you can call her. That's 914-361-9467. That's 914-361-9467. And this shop I support immensely. I've gotten some monatomic gold. Now, when you take monatomic gold, it's very good for mental capacity, mental alignment. It's good for lucid dreams and all that. So I take uh, her monatomic gold. I take blue pillars monatomic gold also. But go to Better Better Health Shop at um, Etsy. Go to Better Health Shop 
www.etsy.com or call them because they also do consultation if you want to find out any about their products like burdock, CMOS, DE, which is a good internal cleanser for parasites and all that. Give her a call at uh, 800 820-7822. That's 800-820-7822. That's the betterhealthshop.etsy.com. I'm going to see if I can get them back on and do an interview with them, see what's going on. Also, of course, Lloyd Strayhorn, that's the world-renowned astro-numerologist. Make sure you go to his website at www.lloyd-strayhorn.com. Get his books, take his classes, online classes, and make sure you do a session with him. Do a consultation session. Lloyd is the best astro-numerologist in the world. When I say that, I don't mean I, I'm telling you he's been on every major stage, radio, television to, to boot right now. Lloyd Strayhorn, uh, one of my partners in Vibe, the one, the only modern day sage herself. Make sure you go to the website, www.moderndaysage.com or hit her up at 800-774-4554. That's 774-4554. And don't forget that 800 number. She does past life healing readings, spiritual readings and consultations, Reiki sessions, energy ritual work. And she also has some great spiritual bracelets, Lloyd uh, oils and much more. If you want to take my class, I do have an introductory class to holistic numerovation. That's www.udemy.com. Go to the search engine and just put in numerovation and you'll see that. And if you want the full course meal, it's eight hours, raw, uncut PowerPoint and chalkboard presentation, eight hours pre-recorded. Once you buy the links, it's yours. It's two links that you receive, uh, five five hours in one and i think um three or four and a half hours and then three and a half hours in another but all you have to do is text the word course to three four seven four nine six one zero two two three four seven four nine six one zero two two and then you'll get uh you'll get the uh you get the details of how to pay for the links and i'll send you the links via email and via text so you can have it in two ways to watch it and pay attention you could even listen to it and still learn because i i i i speak i teach numbers very plainly but straight to the point and very direct all right and also get my books in that. Go to all, get all my books on Linktree. That's Linktree forward slash King Simon, the numerator. That's Linktree forward slash King Simon, the numerator. Or go to Amazon if you want to get it through Amazon. It's all good. And don't forget, you can book a session with me. 347-496-1022. That's 347-496-1022. I do have a waiting list into July right now, heading into August. So make sure you book it now. If you're born around July, August, I do suggest you book that now because by the time I get right near your birthday, boom, I'm right there with you, all right? And if you want to do the quick 10 minutes and 10 seconds, this is a special that's going on only till my grandmother's birthday, June the 22nd. This is going all the way till June the 22nd. You pre-record it, it's taped, you, you text your first name only and your date of birth and you pay the money and then guess what? I will break down whatever you want me to break down, but I ask you to ask me at least three particular questions about your what you want to do, how things you want to do, relationship, wherever you want to go with it. Numbers study the patterns, the cycles and sequences of your life. And that's why I do numerology. It's not psychic, but does help you to tap into your intuitive faculties that you need to use on a daily basis, especially when you're moving throughout this world. All right. All right. So here comes the disclaimer. Content disclaimer, views, comments and opinions held by this channel's um, this YouTube channel this do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by this channel's broadcasters and its sponsors. Parental guidance is advised. So disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Once again, want to thank of course, Professor Bill, want to thank, of course, Dante Nero for coming on. And I want to thank all of you for participating and being a part of this journey with King Simon. I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a laugh and sing some songs. And just before the end, it comes, you just to know it. Come the time we have to say so long. Up, you mighty nation, you could accomplish what you will. One love, one aim, one destiny, like Marcus Mosiah Gabi said, and like Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad said, regardless of land, label, or language, there's but one God. Family, peace and love, and I will see you when I see you in the next presentation with this beautiful sister coming up. So make sure y'all keep it locked right here. Don't touch that dial, and peace out. 
and we love y'all. Take care. This is King Simon. Remember, make sure you go to my website, kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com or Linktree at King Simon, the numeral base. And get all four of my books. And of course, that's the numeral base for mental stability. Numbers are simple, people are complicated. Numbers are simple, children's health is important. And no promotion is bad promotion. Just spell my name right. Make sure you get them now on all my links. That's kingsimonproductions.wordpress.com. Go now. family is King Simon, the founder of Numerovation. Remember, if you want to book a session with me and get a Numerovation consultation, all you have to do is text me your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. And if you want any of my books, go to Linktree forward slash King Simon, the Numerovator. That's King Simon, the Numerovator. And your books are available on Amazon. Remember, I'm the El Numero Uno, the Numerovator himself. And if you want to book a session, all you have to do is text me. Make sure you get my books on Amazon. I love you. Peace. Cosmic 1910 Alignment Dinner and Mini Workshop coming to Drop Squad Kitchen in Wilmington, Delaware on June the 19th. Featuring King Simon, the International Numerovata, alongside Ellison Nedra, the Modern Day Sage, with special guest Lloyd Strayhorn, the world-renowned astro numerologist, all happening in Wilmington, Delaware at the Drop Squad Kitchen on June the 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. Make sure you text 347-496-1022 for details. Be there in Delaware. It's going to be great. Oh.